either apartment number one or apartment number two that you thought the police needed to take a look at? I think I remember right off. Okay, all right. And did you or Mike touch anything or remove anything from either apartment? Not after the police left. Okay. Those are all the questions that I have for you, Mr. Pickard. Please answer any questions the defense may have. Mr. Erskine, Cross? Just a few. Um, just to clarify, were you aware of who lived in apartment one? Uh, I knew that it was in there, but I never met him. You were aware that that was where a homicide was? Yes. I'm a head of maintenance. I, like, it really goes through me. Okay. And then apartment two, that's the other apartment in the yes. house. Okay. Um, just very briefly, uh, you're a... You're like a maintenance man by trade, right? That's, yes. Okay. Uh, you're not a ballistics expert, right? No. Nope. And um, you're not trained in scene investigation, right? No. Nope. Uh, or in identifying evidence, right? No. Nope. Or documenting it. No. Nope. Uh, okay, so uh, when you say that something had a bullet hole in it, um, that's based on you seeing a hole through a piece of plastic? Yes. Okay, and basically assuming that, that it came from a bullet, right? Well, it was simple. That's all. Cross, Mr. McLeod? No, no cross. Any redirect? No redirect, Your You're Honor. excused, sir? Thank you. And thank you. Well, I'm wondering if it's a good time to break for lunch. I see some smiles. Is it a good spot? It is, Your Honor. Okay. Let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will, we'll take an hour for lunch. Don't discuss this matter with anyone or each other. Run a couple laps. Get your blood flowing again. Uh, if you meet out front in one hour, which would be 1.45, I'm giving you two or three minutes extra. Bonus, bonus day. Have a nice break. 1.45 out front. Thank you. About 140, then? Can you just a little early, please? Can you stay here at our lunch or she can stay now?